Hey there, YouTube fam. Good morning. It's a cold day here on Mount Lindo at the Mount Lindo Cemetery, also known as Olinger Cemetery. And it's day four of the Jacob Paddock's week search. And uh, we got a blizzard rolling in. So it's already started to snow a little bit. Um, show you it this way. You can see the clouds rolling in. The wind was wicked last night. I've been camping out up here in the cemetery. I got permission from the sheriff to camp up here while I did my search <coughs> with the dog. So what we got going on at this point is the blizzard's rolling in. I don't want to get down on the mountain, get caught up in it with the dogs and get lost and stuff. So we're temporarily going to halt the search for Jacob Paddock Weeks. Um, what can we take away from this? As I cleared... And I can say with 90% positivity that the area on the north side, all the way to the west, all the way to the southwest, is all the sunny side of Mount Lindo. And I can confidently say that we cleared that. I have a bag full of bones that the dogs brought me. And uh, some of them I'm going to have sent off to get tested, but I'm pretty sure they're all deer bones and bear bones and stuff like that. So, um... It really didn't turn up what I was looking for. I was looking for a big bone scatter and, uh, <clears throat> you know, maybe tennis shoes or belts or, you know, stuff that would definitely be left behind in the few years since he's been missing. But, <clears throat> so the Mount Linger, Mount, the Olinger Cemetery Road runs all the way up here to the top. And I just, I have some questions and maybe you sleuths, you web sleuths and stuff can re-examine this case and help me out. Um, Jacob Paddock Weeks could have walked all the way up this road and there is a mausoleum here that's unlocked 24-7 and on the inside of the mausoleum, get this, there's a propane heater that can be lit with a lighter and we know Jacob Paddock Weeks had a lighter so I mean if he was desperate and freezing to death he could have easily gone in the mausoleum and wrapped up and stayed warm and survived so I don't think he made it up to the cemetery I think he broke off the mountain somewhere you know, in his state, his adrenaline was pumping. He's kind of running from the law type deal. And uh, I still think he's out in the mountains, maybe in some deeper snow. So what we got planned is we're going to come back in April when the snow is melted before the leaves hit the trees of the oaks. And that's going to be the best time, the absolute best time to uh, search for Jacob again. And uh, we're going to bring the dogs back. And I already have permission to uh, camp here and uh, come back. So that's great, and um, but a little bit of evidence that is not, or um, clues that are that is not made to the public is that the bloodhounds picked up on Jacob's scent coming up this road to the cemetery. So that's confirmed, and there was also a witness that last saw, and I don't know who the witness is, but law enforcement confirmed there was a witness that saw Jacob Paddock Weeks walking up the cemetery road here so we're at the top of that road right now and um you know as you can see behind me um that's denver down there so who knows he maybe he thought he could make it to denver maybe he did make it to denver you know he maybe who, who knows so i'm gonna leave it up to the web sluice after the evidence i found and given i've cleared this mountainside and now we can we can add these clues on, on what we found here and um, add that to the equation and maybe that'll help us be able to zero in more on where he could have gone so <clears throat> but the takeaway is we can at least give the family closure that their son is not on the north side all the way to the southwest side anywhere on the sunny side of the mountain and i can say that with um with certainty so <clears throat> but that's going to be it for now um we're gonna head on down to the road to do a little bit something else today, so stay tuned. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a happy video. So it's been a real somber tone around here. Um, I actually had a little bit of a breakdown yesterday. I was walking around, and I'll show you the graves and stuff. There's graves all around here, and um, you know it's been a somber mood. You know all this, <clears throat> you know death and and cemeteries and and looking for missing persons and then i came up on a grave of a, of a child who died from cancer and he was 11 year old and it's actually choking me up a little bit right now so i haven't really gotten over it 100 percent but 
I need to do something and clear my head and go do something that's a little bit more um, light, lighthearted and spirited. I'm going to play some comedy podcasts and get my mind right. But uh, I'm going to come back a little later and uh, I have something special planned for you. So stay tuned and uh, say a prayer for Jacob Paddock Weeks that we can bring him home to his family. We're not giving up. This is just part one of the search and uh, we'll be back. So thank you, Lost One fans. I really appreciate you watching and please hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom so we can keep these searches going i really want to go up and look at the chance engelbert case next in nebraska garing nebraska maybe some of you could help me out with that so drop a comment or you can get a hold of me at williamc970 at gmail.com for any type of inquiries i appreciate everything one more look at denver for you